Hi there, welcome to my studio. Thanks for being here. Um, in today's video, I want to share some demos of a few one minute drawings. I want to explain the idea behind these ultra short quick poses. There are three reasons why we do one minute poses. To get you to be very confident in the way that you draw, to help you to focus on seeing the figure as a cohesive whole, and to develop a way to be selective in what you draw. So I am going to explain all about these three important aspects of figure drawing in this video, and I'll explain how you can dramatically improve your drawing by focusing on them. So let's talk first about confident line work. This is something that a lot of figure drawing students try to develop not because they want necessarily bold or expressive lines, but because they understand that confident lines make a drawing that much more impactful. Confident lines naturally helps you to feel more confident about your drawing. So how do these short poses help you to develop confident lines? Well, if you only have one minute to draw the figure, then you need to be able to make your statement within that time frame quickly and boldly. In a one minute drawing, you want to be able to capture what you see as directly as possible without having any sort of time to rethink things or to figure things out. You need to get your ideas down on the page immediately. Short poses are all about capturing your impression of a pose. By capturing what you see or by putting down what you feel in response to the pose, you just end up naturally with very expressive dynamic looking marks. So for one minute drawings like this, I tend to use compressed charcoal because as you can see, it's a great drawing medium for getting a lot of varied and dynamic marks. Compressed charcoal is responsive, it's very direct. Uh, you can use the side of it for tones and values, or you could use the edge to get those clean, crisp lines. Now, you don't have to draw with charcoal. You can still make these quick drawings using any medium, but the point here is that the dynamic marks will help you to get down onto the page what you see as quickly as possible, as directly as possible. And so that's the first point of this practice of doing short poses. These are all about getting your impression down onto the page through developing confident lines and confident mark making. If you do these short poses over time as a practice, your lines and your marks will naturally become much stronger, more dynamic and much more confident. So the other reason why these short poses help you as a figure drawing student is that you learn how to see the figure as a whole. Normally our tendency as uh, when we're drawing the figure is to treat the figure as a series of separate parts. You know, we focus on drawing each one at a time. This is because the figure is such a complex thing to draw in the first place. So we tend to break it down into manageable shapes that we can understand. Now that's great for when you want to draw a longer pose, even a five minute or a 10 minute pose or an hour long pose. But it won't help you in these short poses. The key to short poses is to see the figure as one unit. You'll have so much more success at drawing the figure in one minute if you do that. And then once you start to do this, once you start seeing the figure as one unit, one cohesive whole, that helps you to see proportions, and it helps you to see and understand relationships of size and shape, and it helps you in general just to develop a, a really good sense of the movement and the life within forms. So for both of these reasons, practicing short poses is a crucial skill to develop, and as such, uh, one minute poses are a great drawing drill to help you get much better at drawing in general. The other reason that I want to talk about today is that through these one minute poses or 30 seconds or even two minute poses, you learn to understand and see the aspect of the pose that's most important. 
And again, if you only have one minute to draw a pose, you really quickly learn to see that most important aspect and you learn to know what to leave out and what details don't matter for this drawing. This in itself is an excellent training, but over time it really does help you in longer drawings. Having some discernment and being able to distill your statement and have some idea of you know, what to include, what to leave out of a drawing, that makes it much more powerful than if you focused on everything with equal emphasis all around the figure. So learning how to be selective is another great reason to do these short poses. So altogether, being able to see the figure as a cohesive unit, being able to make confident marks or lines, and knowing what to leave out and what to include in a drawing, these three aspects will completely change the way that you draw. And it's so important for beginners to practice this now as much as possible. Now lastly, I just want to add that if you're not going to life drawing in real life, you know, drawing from the actual live model, um, then it can be a little bit more difficult to see the value of these short poses. If you're just drawing from photo reference, it's not quite the same as drawing from life. And these points that I've covered here are a bit harder to understand and apply. When you're drawing from life, that's something that's totally different to drawing from a photo reference. And I encourage everybody to have at least some experience of drawing the model from life. Having had that experience, I think that is when this whole point of short or quick poses actually becomes clear. And the beauty is that you can take that understanding of how to draw life. Um, you can take that experience and then you can apply it to drawings that you're using where you're using photo references. Um, I drew these drawings from an online life drawing session, which is essentially like drawing from a photo. So I'm not saying life drawing is better than drawing from photo reference, but you will definitely see an enormous improvement in your drawing if you can draw from life. And all of these points that I've talked about and explained in this video make the most sense in that context. So I really hope this video was helpful. I really hope that you got some good information out of it. Please let me know, drop a comment below if you did. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how your figure drawing practice is going. So let me know if you've got any questions or any challenges at the moment. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And I'll look out for you in the next video.